Hello my YouTube friends. I'm always looking for ways to make running my live streams easier. I have my loop deck and I use my keyboard for shortcuts, but I'm always finding that I'm doing more searching around than I want to. And that's not fun for an audience to watch. I want my scenes or overlays on demand. A great solution for this is using voice commands, just like Tutorial. Let's do some learning. Desk cam. Finger taping. Extra cam. The side view. Main camera. Your wish is my command. This can free you up to just have fun on your live streams and not have to worry about finding buttons or clicking the mouse or anything like that. This is really powerful for streams that have their hands busy, like cooking or gaming or fitness or something like that. This can be especially powerful for someone with special needs who maybe can't operate the mouse very well, or they don't have use of their arms. I mean, they can still live stream too and do really cool dynamic things. It's just as easy as saying a phrase to change the scene. Oh, and it's totally free to do this. So let's get to it. My analytics say that 80% of the folks watching my content are not subscribed. Am I doing something wrong? If so, definitely let me know in the comments. But if you are looking for tools, tips, and tricks that can help make you a better YouTuber or live streamer, subscribe to the channel and click that bell so you don't miss any new content. The process to set this up is pretty simple if you follow along. In step one, we're gonna install the app that takes the voice commands. In step two, we're gonna configure the voice app so it'll do exactly what we want. In step three, we're gonna set up OBS so your voice commands will work. Then in step four, I want to show you different things that you can do using voice commands. Then in step five, I want to give you a few tips for the best results using this software. The software we're going to use is called Voice Attack. It's a paid software, but it does offer an unlimited trial that gives you 20 free commands. And this is probably more than most streamers are ever gonna use. Now this isn't a sponsored spot, it's just good software. The link is in the description as usual. So let's go ahead and install it. Here on the Voice Attack website, we just wanna go over here and click download. It takes us down to the bottom of the page. And you can see right here, it tells you all about the free trial. And it also lets you know that you should run this with administrative privileges privileges if you can. Then we're going to go over here to the left and click this little disc icon and it downloads. We'll just double click it down here in the bottom left, click OK, and then next, accept the license terms and next, and then make sure it's in the right directory and click next. And we want to create a desktop shortcut. So we click that and then install. Then at the end, we can just check launch voice attack and click finish. Next thing you know, comes up. This gives you a little more information about voice attack. You can also register it. We're just going to click go here. This tells you to train your voice attack so that it recognizes your voice better. And you probably want to take the time to do this. We're just going to close that out. And then you have some security information here to tell you what to do just in case you have any problems. Once again, running it as administrator is just good practice and that of course is listed right here and you can read through this and click OK and there we go we've successfully installed voice attack easy enough now let's set it up here is voice attack right up here and the interface is really simple so the first thing we're gonna want to do is set up our microphone so we're gonna go over to the little wrench here and that brings us up right here and we're gonna go into general you can see default microphone. I'm gonna change it to my cam link microphone, which is right up here. And that should fix that. I'm also gonna go into system advanced and I'm gonna run voice attack as administrator. And this just saves you from lots of other problems with OBS later if you're running OBS as administrator and hotkeys. So just check the administrator button there and you don't have to worry about it again. And that's really all we need to know here. So I'm gonna go ahead and click that. Now there are some things that are already in there and you can see it's taken my voice and sometimes it recognizes it and sometimes it doesn't. But if I say something like, hello. Good day to you. Calculator. Browser. So you can see that there are some things that are already built in. So let's create our own commands. And we're gonna go up and we're gonna click this little pencil. We can actually create our own profile and write it out here if we want. First thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and delete the commands that come with the program. We don't really need any of these. We're gonna create our own commands that are gonna 
do things on our live stream like switch scenes. So now that we have all of our commands gone, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and create a new command. And I'm gonna call this one main camera. So up here, you can see when I say main camera, down here, it's gonna tell us what it's gonna do. So we want it to press a key. We're gonna use hot keys for this. So I'm gonna go ahead and skip through these little messages here. And we're gonna select a hot key. I'm just gonna use the F1 key, makes it easy to remember. And you can have it hold down the key for longer or shorter, however you wanna set this up, click OK. And so when I say main camera, it's gonna press the hot key F1. If I click OK, we can see, there we go, that's in there. So I can go back in here and edit this, and what if I wanted to do something else? What if I wanted it to say something when it switched? I can go into other, and I can go to sounds and say something with text-to-speech, uh, something like your wish is my command. You can use the default voice or you can add different voices. I'm gonna try Microsoft Zero here and you can select your output, how you want it to go. I'm leaving it in default for this because generally speaking, I wouldn't use the voice feedback. I just wanted to switch scenes, but I want to make sure that you know how to do it if you want to do it. You can also use different programs that do speech synthesis if you want. You can add all of that stuff in here and then wait until speech completes before continuing the command. So if you had multiple commands, you can see when I put this in here, it's going to show up right here. So if I checked wait until the speech is finished before it finishes the commands, then it would say the command and then do the deed. So theoretically, you might want to uh, move it up so it says what you want it to do and then it does it. And let me show you how this works. So if I click OK, we've got our command in here and I'm gonna apply that. And then if I go in, uncheck my microphone there, say main camera your wish is my command and there you go it was hitting the f1 key now when i hit the f1 key obviously it did some other function that's already registered to f1 so i'm gonna have to change my hot key if i need to do that i can go back into my profile here and we're gonna edit this command and where it says hold f1 we are going to go ahead and change that up so we're gonna use the numpad 7 key instead and click OK. Now we got a numpad seven. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and delete the F1 key. There we go. So now it's gonna press numpad seven when we wanna go ahead and change to our main camera. But that's not all we wanna do. And honestly, I don't really want the voice command, but I'm gonna leave it in here for the purposes of this, just so you can see what's going on. So next I wanna load in my extra camera. It's one that's over here. So I'm gonna go ahead and select new command and I'm gonna put in extra camera or extra cam, that works. And we're gonna go with key press here again. I'm gonna go with eight, numpad eight and click okay. And there we go. And why not, we'll go ahead and put some audio in there. The side view and there we go. Now it's gonna say the side view. So in this case, it would execute this one and then this one. You have to realize they all go in order. So if I go in here and I edit this one, I can say that this completes before it would actually switch the camera. And let's go ahead and select that. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move this up so it will say the side view. And then it's gonna go ahead and complete our command. So let's go ahead and click OK. Now we've got two set up. The next one I wanna set up is the desk camera. So I'm gonna go up and click new command once again. And I'm gonna go ahead and say desk cam. We're gonna go with the key press here. And I'm gonna go with numpad nine and click okay. And we'll go ahead and add voice to this. There we go, finger tapping. And we'll have this one complete as well. I'm gonna move this up so it says finger tapping and then switches over and boom, there we go. And I think I want one more on here so I'm gonna add one more command. We're gonna call this one tutorial and the key press on this one is gonna be the numpad five. There we go. And we'll go ahead and add voice to this just for fun. And like I said, you can add voice, not add voice. It really doesn't matter. Let's do some learning and go ahead and put that in there. 
and I'm gonna move it up so it happens before the actual key press. Click OK. So now we have four actions in here that we can execute in OBS using hotkeys. Now, there is an issue where if you run a game or something like that, you may be using some of these hotkeys. And there is actually a solution. There is a command prompt program that you can use that will interact with OBS through the command prompt so you don't actually have to put in any keys at all or any hotkeys like that. But that's a little bit more advanced. And if it's something you wanna know about, you should let me know in the comments. Otherwise, I'm going to show you how to do it with the hotkeys here. In OBS, we're going to try a basic setup here to show you exactly how this works. So now all we have to do is set up our different scenes to work. You can see I have four scenes set up here. Main camera, extra cam, desk cam, and tutorial, just like what we set up in voice attack. Now all we got to do is set up our hotkeys. So we're going to go down into settings and we're going to go into hotkeys. All right, switch to scene. That's what we're looking for. So for desk cam, that was number seven. And then extra cam was number eight. Oh, that's wrong. So desk main camera was number seven. Extra camera was number eight. Desk camera was number nine. Our switch to scene tutorial was keypad number five. We can click apply. And now we should be able to just change these scenes with our voice. Voice attack has to be opened. And we're going to apply, we're going to click done and let's clear this out. So if you wanted to turn off listening, you can do that right here. It turns off the microphone so it's not hearing you and not picking up your keywords. But let's see if this works and turn it on. Extra cam. The side view. And there we go. Desk cam. Finger taping. Yeah. You can see the voice to chat. It all depends on who you get to do it. How about tutorial? Let's do some learning. Let's do some learning. And last but not least, main camera. Your wish is my command. And it's that easy to set this up, but we can do so much more. Now, if you aren't already bursting with amazing ideas for voice command, let me show you some really cool things you can do. Now, I remember telling you that I was gonna show you some really cool things that you could do with this, and of course, I'm gonna deliver. So how about, thank you. Another one of my favorites, hell no. If you're interested in learning more about how I created some of these cool scenes, well, you know what? Just let me know in the comments and maybe I'll make a video about it. You can also set up a timer for these scenes so it only switches over for a few seconds and then switches right back when you're finished. And I'm not gonna show you how to do that because you'll be able to learn more if you mess around with the software a little bit. And right now, you know the basics. So to get the most out of voice attack, you wanna be sure to put a bit of space in between commands so it can easily understand them. You also wanna avoid using common words or phrases that you use on your live stream a lot. Words like scene, home, game, stuff like that. You don't wanna use those as your voice command words. If you wanna learn about some of my favorite OBS plugins, you should check this video out. And if you're always looking for tools, tips, and tricks that can help make you a better YouTuber or live streamer, subscribe to the channel. My name is Michael Fire Jr. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one.